Hi, my name is Tyra, and I'm a freshman at Omaha Central. And this is my poem called Hands. Hands interlock like your tree braids, baby girl. Pink nails match the outfit that mommy bought you last week. Daddy bought you sweet pea lotion that makes your hands as soft as pillows, but you can't sleep on these. You see, you always hated summer because in your eyes, the sun in your hands can never find compromise. Your hands would rather hold remote instead if it meant your complexion wouldn't get darker. Dark nights, you always preserve the magazines that mommy got in the mail so you, baby you, could build the lightest of the brightest skin colors and tear down your dark presence. You, little girl, could never find love in your melanin, but you could always find love in hers. The little girl across the street had long, beautiful, brown, curly hair. Her eyes matched the grass that you didn't want to walk in. Her skin was as bright as the star that you wished on every night. Her skin resembled the caramel that mommy cooked on Saturday afternoon. Your hair with thick curls was nappy. When you wore your afro to school, they told you that you looked like a runaway slave. Your eyes were as basic brown as the Hudson River you wanted to drown in these. Your skin resembled the chocolate that you never ate. Your skin was dark. Black boys and girls told you that you will never be as good as the little girl across the street because she was the golden trophy and you were the fourth place prize. The little boy at school told you that you were too dark. You never passed the paper bag test that you gave to yourself. You were ashamed of your family's hands, ashamed of your family's roots, how your hair held history of cotton picking fields. You always asked mommy, why wasn't daddy white? You always asked mommy, why do we have to go outside? Can you use sunscreen? You always asked mommy, why weren't you as beautiful, as golden as the little girl across the street? Mommy took your hands and painted captions that you would never forget. Mommy told you that you were indifferent, that your DNA carried pieces of the beautiful black woman that came before you, that your hands held more history than these grounds, that your eyes were still as basic brown as the Hudson River. You wanted to swim in these, that your hair still broke two combs in a week, but these combs were trophies that your hands wanted to hold. Mommy told you that your hands represent the chocolate that you finally decided to try. Sweet and as soft as pillows, you could finally sleep on these. Mommy told you that your dark was beautiful, that your hands represent society, but only you, baby you, could find love in them.